hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's Eki today's video I'll be showing you how you use your very little products to achieve this makeup look if you're a stay-at-home mom you're a student you're working class if you want a quick makeup look that you can just you know slam on your face and hit the door it's something that you can achieve in 10 15 minutes if it sounds like something you want to watch then stay tuned first up i'll be priming my skin using the Rimmel stay my primer i've already done my skincare the next thing is just to apply my primer i'm going to use my fingers to do that so i'm applying the primer when necessary thank you guys for tuning in if you're new here you're welcome please subscribe if you haven't done that if you're an og thank you so much for always tuning in so i'm taking that to where i'll normally get oily taking that to my brows i love my brows to stay matte all day i'm going to use my mini fan and just let that dry down quickly next product is the nuban beauty in my skin foundation this is in w7 Ofra. sorry w6 i'm just going to take this drop and um, use my brush to apply that to my skin this foundation is a lightweight foundation you want it to cover so much for you you apply and let it dry down a bit and you blend before you blend rather i'm taking that to my lid this look won't take so much of your time if you're going to work school church you're a stay-at-home mom that always want to look good for your husband huh so i let that dry down a bit before i use my beauty sponge if you feel that you need more coverage you can still apply one more layer but what i really do is to add that foundation to the area where i want that coverage and somewhere here also here and here if you've been following me on here for a while now you know that when it comes to foundation i love to mix foundation a lot but in today's video i didn't do that because i just want to be very minimal with the product that i'm using I looked for a foundation that would really suit my undertone properly. I mistakenly put this in the pan. I thought it was a shade I wanted to use. It's a little lighter than my skin and I just want to lighten this area a bit to just give it that lift. I'm going to be setting underneath my eyes with the Bluffet setting powder from Yanga Beauty this is in the shade Custard so I'm just going to use my beauty sponge just dip that into that and set underneath my eyes most times it just make the face look flat when the under eyes is not bright at all I really love to be very minimal when I'm applying my makeup. I, I go in with little product at a time. I don't like going in with so much product so that I won't have issues when I'm blending that out. So the next thing I'll be doing is to use this powder. I'm going to mix this chocolate and the sweet honey for my entire face. So what I like to do is I go into this Bianca, it's the lightest shade in this palette. So I just use that to pat underneath my eyes. I'm using that same brush. So I'm using this small brush, concealer brush from Bicabel in NK5. The setting powder I use is not a translucent powder. I'm using this maroon shade mixed with the dark chocolate to bronze my face bringing that up because i'm not going to be applying blush i 
I go back to that powder brush I use in setting the whole of my face to go over that bronzer I just did so there will be no demarcation so I'm done with my skin the next thing I'll be doing is my brows I'm going to use this pencil in bismuth first I'm going to comb that out I don't know how I managed to touch this pencil and it got broken. I'm going to be switching into this Blot Cosmetic in the shade Cork. If you ask me, I love brow for me because it just answered the call. So I'm just going to be filling in my brows. This is one of the reasons why I have problem with retractable pencil because any mistake is gone. For my brows, when it comes to this look, I really love to concentrate on my brows a lot because I really do not have a lot of things going on on my face. Once somebody sees your face, the first thing they look at I'll is your brows. Highlighting my brows using the Younger Beauty Angle Brush in Flat Veg and then I'm going to be using Younger Beauty Concealer in the shade SMC3. Concentrate that on my brow bone so this is a shade that i would normally use to do my under eyes highlights i'll be blending that out with the vika bell nk17 blending brush guys if you are using this concealer don't don't even by chance leave it to stay this long i left it for so long now it's kind of difficult to blend and if you're not careful you'll be left with patches so i'm going to go into that concealer that i use for my brow bone so this is not something that is going to take the whole of your time the next thing i'll be doing i'm going into the bianca and sweet honey i'll be patting that on my brow bone to set that area i'm going to go into that shade of powder i use for the whole of my skin so i'm going into that maroon shade to give some depth at the outer corner of my eyes this one i'm doing is really not necessary it is me just being too extra i love to be extra when it comes to my makeup most cases just set your concealer and hit the road that for the eyes the next thing i'm going to go on to is the impact mascara from kiss beauty so i'm going to use this to pick my upper lash this mascara actually lengthen and make your lash looks very full if you've been looking for an affordable mascara this is a very good one to try this is me recommending you a mascara i think at the time I got this was either 1000 or 1500 compared to the ones that I've been buying which is like 35 4000 are you seeing that guys are you seeing my eyes my lashes okay guys so if you feel that the lash is okay like this because most times I do just apply my mascara and i'm off but today i'm going to be applying my lashes but before then i'm going to be using this from mera cosmetics to line my waterline so um that lining so that lining also adds some extra lift to the eyes to keep my brows further matte this is what I do. I go in with a setting powder. This is totally optional. If you feel that your time is not letting you or permitting you to do all of this serum, 
just let it go but i feel if you actually do this your brows is going to last you all day so you can set immediately you're done drawing your brows so that as you go on to do other stuffs it will be set next i'm going to be using this lash For applying lash false lashes is very very optional you can decide to just go on like this i'm going to place that right on top of my natural lash when applying your falsies try to look down you know where to place your falsies i line my lips with this shade from the eye magic lip palette so i'm going to be adding this to the middle of my lips that's the same concealer i used I don't know how the lips is looking on the camera but i really do not feel the vibes okay so i'm going to add something to that probably i'll be adding this shade from the eye magic palette okay so i don't know how the lips look right now on camera but on here i really love the way it's looking i'm going to be glossing my lips if you know me like i love gloss so i'm going to use this gloss from i really do not know this company name there's this thing that gloss does to the lips and even to your look it gives those vibes that i don't think anything can take it away i'll quickly spray my face with the kiss beauty makeup fix so i'm not gonna let this dry down so much because i want to go in with my highlights from Nuban Beauty the glow palette and um, also this is optional guys as it is right now you can go to anywhere possible that you want to go to you look good already so you see how we use few products to achieve this look this is basically what I will do if you want a quick makeup look that you can just slam on your face and hit the door it's something that you can achieve in 10 15 minutes so the products that are really not necessary that i use you you can skip the lashes you can skip your concealer like using concealer for the brows and one thing i didn't mention again that you can really skip is the highlight for the eyes you don't really need to go all out the way i did you can just use your concealer or you use your foundation then you set with your face powder so please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up leave a comment below and also don't forget to subscribe right here and ring the bell beside it so you don't miss new updates thank you so much for watching stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys